Hi there, I'm Neil, also known as the Hairy Man. I'm here to talk to you today about heroic calls in the Empire LARP system. In this video I'm going to focus on the Impale call. To be able to use the Impale as a call, you'll most commonly either have to be a ranged combatant having purchased the Marksman skill, or with Weapon Master, Hero Point and the Mortal Blow skill. As always there are other methods of achieving this, using artisan items or rituals, but it's beyond the scope of this video and I'm not covering that, so you'd be advised to check the Empire Wiki to find out how those things work. So let's go ahead and look at Impale using the Marksman skill. Marksman's quite an expensive skill to buy at four points. That's half of the uh, character points that you would normally get at character creation, but it is a very potent skill. Providing that you're able to demonstrate that you can use a bow or a crossbow safely, and you know how to check arrows or bolts to confirm that they're safe, then you should be able to use this skill. When an arrow or bolt is shot at its intended target, and that target is not wearing heavy armor, then that target's got to either stop using the limb that has been hit. And so if it's your arm, drop any items that you're wearing at that hand. And that limb is now useless and cannot be used again until there is any targeted healing in specifically to target the effect of the impale. If, it, if that limb is your leg, then you should fall to the ground safely and again no fighting from your knees like a pantomime dwarf and uh, again you can't use that limb until there is healing that specifically targets it. it. Now if the arrow hits your torso then if you're not wearing heavy armour again you should safely drop to the ground and you will lose any remaining hits that you have and you are on what is referred to as your death count which as standard is three minutes that can be increased by spending character points potions rituals etc etc but it can drop to as low as 30 seconds if you are affected by the venom call but any amount of healing put into you will stop that and you'll be able to get up again. And so again, if you block a arrow or a bolt using a shield or a buckler, then it has no effect on you. Do not attempt to block away arrows or bolts with a melee weapon. It is not only very dangerous as hitting them will cause it to spin and there's only one padded end and that padded end may not end up in somebody's eye socket. It. So, on to the melee version of the impaled skill. In order to make the impaled call in melee you need to fulfil several requirements. Firstly, you have to have the hero skill which costs you two points Hence for the first level and gives you two hero points. And each level after that will cost you one extra point and gives you one extra use of the skill. So three points for level two, four points for level three, etc. etc. You must also have the weapon master skill, which costs you two points and that lets you use two handed weapons, pole arms, pikes, and one handed spears. You must also buy the mortal blow skill, which costs you one point. The mortal blow skill also requires that you use a very specific kind of weapon and of a set size. The weapon must be 48 inches or greater, up to a maximum of 60 inches. Two handed weapons do start at anything over 42 inches, but unless they are over 48 inches, you cannot use them to call impale. The weapon must be a representation of an axe, a mace, a sword, or a hammer. If your weapon is not one of these, then contact Profound Decisions for a ruling in on it. The rules currently state that you cannot make this call with a flail, a spear, or other polearm, regardless of its length. You expend a hero point 
an appropriate role play for a mighty blow and you call impale. As I mentioned previously, if it hits an arm not covered by heavy armour, then anything held in that hand should be dropped and the arm is useless until some form of healing directly targets uh, the impale. For a leg not covered by heavy armour, you should drop to the ground safely and lose one global hit and again, then the limb is useless until some healing targets the impale specifically. For a torso hit to an area not covered by heavy armour, you should drop, drop to the ground safely, lose all your remaining global hits and you begin your death count. Remember, just wearing armour is not enough. If a blow hits you on a location that is not covered by the armour, you should react as if you had been hit on an unarmoured location. Blows blocked by a shield, buckler or a weapon will not have any effect on you and the person making the impale call will not have wasted that use. So I hope that's explained the impale call for you and I hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.